Welcome to Gradient Flow Snapshot number 52. Open source ELT company Airbyte has shared the deck they used to raise a seed round with VC firm Excel in 13 days. The deck starts with some industry context and shows where Airbyte fits in the ecosystem. Data integration is not a solved problem since many closed source solutions are pricey or involve privacy compliance hurdles. The goal is for Airbyte to build an open source ELT platform that is the standard for data integration, syncing data from a wide variety of data sources. The target audience slide lists data consumers and data engineers. Investors care greatly about the number of companies already using your product, so this is a very important slide. The roadmap shows what Airbyte can accomplish in the next few quarters with investment. The last slide is short and sweet. The ask here is a direct consequence of the previous roadmap slide. Seek Radiant Flow newsletter number 33 for more. Evaluation for many natural language understanding, or NLU, tasks is broken, according to a new paper from Samuel Bowman of NYU and George Dahl of Google Research. They describe four criteria that NLU benchmarks should meet, which most current benchmarks fail to meet without good reason. Bowman and Dahl recommend significant changes to the process for benchmark data design, the reliability with which benchmarks are annotated, and other factors. See Gradient Flow newsletter number 33 for more. Double Eleven has become the largest online shopping event in the world. To support this level of online activity, Ant Group has implemented a high-performance resource allocation system based on Ray. To learn more, visit gradientflow.com newsletter and subscribe. Thank you.